What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the Stoughton Brothers YouTube channel. So, literally, it is a Monday after I just competed in the Giants Live World Tour final in Glasgow. So, I thought I would give you a little walkthrough through all the events, my thoughts, my honest thoughts on, on every event, and get a wee chat about, obviously, everything else, and then the up-and-coming competition after this one, which is the Rogue Invitational. So, let us get into it. So event number one was the dumbbell ladder. So 80 kilos up to 120 kilo dumbbell. I've done this before. I never managed to get the 120 kilos. I think it was in Cardiff last year. So it went really well. I was up against the, the beast that is Mitchell Hooper. So that kind of revved me up a little bit. I was feeling really confident in this. My dumbbell, you know, since working with Shane, he's tweaked a few things and everything felt really good and... I got the, the full run, so I did the last dumbbell. Um, I, as I popped it up, it kind of went away from me a little bit back, and I managed, I remember my front delt, I just squeezed that, and that held it in place, and I just came forward, managed to get the lockout, and Maggie gave me the down signal. So I think I got, I think it was top four on that one. I think Mitch won. I can't remember who else did it, but it, it was good points for me anyway. So I was really happy with that. That was a PB, so starting... The, the the World Tour final in Glasgow with a PB was an awesome start, so I was really happy. Looking at the events going into it, you know, I knew I had, you know, dumbbell was good for me, farmers carrying to yoke, castle stones, um, deadlift. Uh, initially, it was going to be the 350 globe deadlift, um, which would have been better for me, but last minute they changed it, but we'll get into that after. Um, so anyway, event number one, done. So event number two was the farmers carry for 20 metres, um, I think it was 150 kilos, then straight into the 1,000-pound yoke for 20 metres. So training had been going really well. Again, um, tweaked my the way I do farmers a little bit, and that went, yeah, fantastic. I thought I could have gone a little bit faster still in the farmers, but I didn't want to kind of get too kind of carried away with the farmers. Sometimes I get too carried away, and then I'll mess up with the, the yoke. My transition into yoke was really good, really happy watching back. Had a little stumble, stumble, maybe five metres from the line, but, you know, managed to keep going. Kind of dropped it and then picked it straight back up and, and finished it. And it was a really good time. I think I got third in that one. I think Mitch won it, then Evans, then myself. So, again, those two events, really consistent in them. And, you know, these were the two events I was really looking forward to trying because I've been working really hard on them in prep for the Rogue Invitational, which is a good sign, you know, to come kind of top three, top four in these in the field. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself for doing so well in those first two events actually. I was I was really pumped up and um yeah, it was it was a fantastic result. So going into the deadlift, I just touched on it. Um initially it was going to be the axle deadlift 300, 350 kilo um for repetitions. Um it's changed to 360 kilos um the Apollon wheel axle. Um so a little bit heavier. It's a little bit more difficult I find it bounces a little bit more but I've done three reps on it before so I equaled my PB on that so that's a good sign and yeah it was it was decent I wanted ideally I, I would have liked four reps in that which would have got me an extra few points but you know it's always I mean I could have gone in and said I wanted a faster dumbbell ladder I wanted a fa faster farmers into yoke I wanted one more rep in the deadlift you know all these things is just is what we are as athletes, you know, you always want a little bit more, but um, having the ability to strip it back and look at it in a kind of analytical way, you know, looking at it, looking at the data, PB in the deadlift, uh, the, the dumbbell ladder, basically a PB into the farmer's carry into yoke and equal PB for deadlift, which, you know, is pretty, it's, it's a solid start. Event number four, um, just annoying this one, Hercules hold, it's, um, if I held on for four more seconds, I think I would have been in the top half and that would have probably got me on podium as well. So it's one of those things. Unfortunately, right hand felt really good. Left hand, it just went. So it's one of those things. I don't enjoy these events. I, I you know, if I was really good at them, I'd probably enjoy them. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have a passion for holds. And, uh, yeah, I just... I'd rather move in the round with stuff, you know, deadlift, squat, overhead press, loading, farmers, yoke. Me personally, I think that's a lot more exciting, but um, 
I don't make up the the show. So, um, and again, if I was really good at Hercules Hall, I'd be buzzing. But I think yeah, Mitch won this event, which meant then. Mitch being Mitch, he didn't have to do the last event, um, which is the Castle Stones. Um, so Mitch had won it after four events. So huge, unbelievable, unbelievable performance again from from Mitchell Hooper. But yeah, let's talk about the the final event, which is the Castle Stones. So it was the 120 kilos to the 200 kilos um, Atlas Stone. I was a little bit down after the Hercules hold because I knew that cost me a lot of points. And I just needed to take a few minutes to myself to recoup. I didn't rant, I didn't ray, I didn't get angry or anything. It was just like, ah, oh, shit event, whatever. Um, sat down, um, Kush and Koa came over and sat next to me. We had a nice little moment, got to see Koa. Um, and, you know, that kind of got me back into that kind of mindset of, right, well, it is what it is. Let's see what we can do in the stones. So I got ready for stones. Um, Big Kane Francis went out, had a blinder off a stone run really well, did really well. And sometimes those stones, you know, you've just got to go and send it. This is what Shane, my coach, said. You just go and send it, just have a... You can do it. Like, bicep's fine. We know. I know my bicep's fine now. Um, Vegas pro proved to me that my bicep was... It's, it's fine. It's good. Um, so he's like, just go and send it. And then Ewan, um, who works with us, our business manager before and also best friend before I went out he's like ah mate just go and give them something to get off their seats and cheer about so I was like you know what I'm just going to send that I'm just going to one motion 120 140 160 which I did straight into 180 popped it up popped it up in the platform and then straight back into the 200 I watched Tom when he does stones he doesn't worry about any anything he just goes in pops it up throws it up um, and that's what I did and um, you know, fortunately, it was enough to get the fastest stone run of the day, um, and it was also a, a PB for uh, for the two hundred kilo stone run um, for me as well, twenty four seconds. So I think it's the fastest. Well, it's the fastest stone run I've done in that, um, and you know that that's what I was thinking going into. If I can win the stone run, it's going to give me a few extra points to you know. Hopefully, I didn't think obviously podium after Her Hercules was kind of. It was possible, but it was going to be really hard, really difficult, just with the points. Um, but I knew, like, fourth place was there, so I just had to go in. I was up against Spencer, um, and he smashed it as well, a great stone run. So I knew I had to be really quick, and, yeah, I was. And I, I was really happy. You know, I was buzzing, absolutely buzzing with that performance. You know, what it shows to me is that this year has been worth it, all the the hard work that I've had to put in. And it was funny, Luke Richardson and I were having a wee chat about it, you know, the the wee things, this the the things that Shane puts in into the the training, it's you know, I takes I when I started with, with Shane it was like an hour to warm up. Um and then you go into it. But it's all these little things that are adding to what I am now, which which is, you know, one of the best strong men in the world. And um that performance I think really kind of proved to myself um that I still am. Because um, before I came into Shane, my log press, I couldn't lock out. My mobility was really bad. Um, conditioning wasn't where it should be. I was out of breath. You know, it's Monday morning. I'm feeling fantastic after competing. I'm not sore at all. I'm going in after this video to, to train log press and prep for Rogue Invitational. So my body is responding really well this year. And I feel very, very proud and very um, happy with the performance on Saturday. Yes, it would have been nice to be on podium. If we swapped out Hercules hold for loading, I'd be second place. I I I know that. You know, I know my my loading or any other movement event. You know, I I would be um, or fighting for second place or fighting for podium. Um, but with that being said, it was a fantastic show. Just a huge shout out to the the crowd there. You know, I think a lot of people could see that it was. Going through a bit of stuff, going through a bit of a, it's a whirlwind. It's been a whirlwind of emotions, you know. It's it's, um, I've been quite manic, I think, in my my emotional stimulus over the last kind of few weeks, and um, coming to Glasgow and getting that reception when I came out, you know, it's it's amazing to see how the people respond to to that, and um, you know, just a huge shout out to everyone that came to watch the show all the guys as well, all the athletes, you know, it's it's fantastic 
it makes me so happy to see all the guys come across, you know, from America, Canada, South Africa, out in Ukraine as well, the guys coming over there. So it mean, means an awful lot. And, you know, a huge shout out to Chris Beefham as well for, for his shout out, shout up um, to the show. He only had a week's prep, I think, a couple of weeks prep. And after winning Scotland's Strongest Man, stepping onto the big stage here, I think it was it was a great performance from Chris. And, you know, it's, it's so nice to see another Scotsman kind of come in and come up through the ranks and get a shout, uh, chance to perform in Scotland. But yeah, obviously massive congratulations to Mitchell Hooper, who again just never fails to, to kind of impress with his performance. Just a huge, huge performance from them again. And so good to see big Trey Mitchell, the big thicket back in action. And yeah, another great performance from him. And to my fellow fellow Luke, Luke Richardson. Um, huge shout out to him for, you know, coming back. He's had some really serious injuries and to see him come back and um, make his second podium off the year, I think that was that was a huge performance from him and um, it just shows the, the calibre of, of Luke and, you know, the the level of of athletes at Glasgow this year was, was really good, really high and, yeah, I'm just, just buzzing, you know, it's... I don't know. I wanted to get this one done. I think it was. I felt going into. I think I said I felt quite overwhelmed. There was, you know, quite a lot of emotions for me going into this one. Obviously, with Tom having to pull out Tom's injury, and you know, it's been a big change for Tom, and I, I, I probably feel that more than I kind of let on. And you know, obviously having Koa there as well, it's, it's emotional for me every time I get to kind of compete in front of Koa. So there was a lot of emotions, but you know, it's. I feel I've kind of punched through that kind of void, so to speak. You know, I've come from, you know, maybe being a little bit down. I felt really down on Friday initially for some reason when we got there, but then coming out and just kind of felt like I was glowing by the end of the show. You know, I felt so happy. So, yeah, just just really, really happy with, with everything. So I've, I'm feeling good now. So, yeah, that is, that's, that's basically the recap of the show. So you know, I just wanted to shout out Giants Live again for putting on an awesome show if you guys haven't been to to glasgow to giants live or to any of the giants live shows i would strongly urge you to to go there especially glasgow it's my favorite place to perform the crowd was just electric man it was just absolutely intense and you know I, my bottom lip i think went a wee went a, went a bit when i was um when we initially got taken out and you know i i'm very much a kind of heart in my sleeve type of guy when I compete and I think um, a lot of you guys can see that so yeah if you haven't been to Giants Live show please go the guys the crew work so hard to make a, a fantastic show and, and I love competing for them so yeah going forward as I said it's Monday today um, so I'm going in to prep for Rogue so I've got log press today log floor to overhead and I'm going into strict press after um, big conditioning week as well just keep that conditioning done uh, going. I was on the Peloton bike this morning, did a little hit class on the bike, so that was 15 minute um, hit workout, and then did the cold tub. Like I say, my body feels fantastic. And yeah, really excited for the, the Rogue Invitational. I think that gave me a real confidence boost. I think I can go and do some real damage there, and that's what I plan to do. Um, and yeah, just thanks to everyone for coming, showing support. Um, showing all the love that you do show um, and yeah just really really buzzing after that weekend performance and a uh, special shout out to Big Shane from MST um, for all the coaching that he's given it's been fantastic this year so thank you so much mate onwards to Rogue Invitational also there's going to be a behind the scenes video going out soon as well from the Glasgow uh, World Tour final so stay tuned for that that'll be out later on in the week but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the love that you show us. Yeah, it makes me cry all the time when you say nice things. So thank you so much. As always, thank you for watching. Please remember to smile, stay safe, and please, as always, stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. ding a ling